put your minds together and try and come up with a song or a poem with love in it, and they will kiss for you. I'd like to, I'd like to get to uh, introduce the new bride and groom, Kelly and Jeff.
Tracy is Kel's cousin. She is married and lives in Vancouver. And she's... Did I miss that? Um, and she's currently practicing law with Lawson Lundell, Lawson and Macintosh. Next is Kirsten Copang Telford. Kelly's other cousin from Vancouver. She is also married. And <laughs> just for all you single guys out there, you get an the ground rules. So. She lived and attended U of X with Kelly, and she owns her own internet marketing company called Cogeny Communications. Next is Dana Hayazi. Dana and Kel have been great friends since junior high. Um, even though they diff uh, attended different high schools, universities, lived in different provinces for five years, they remained great friends. And they have ended up actually marrying two, uh, two best friends, Jeff and, uh, and Cam. Now on to the single men. <laughs> Down at the far end, Mike Copang. Mike is Kelly's youngest brother. I didn't know there was uh, more than one of you, but uh, the notes I was given said youngest. So, uh, Mike is a professional stalker. He uh, <laughs> lives in Panamascus country and he's been known to hunt the odd cougar in the town of Panama. Wraps 
set up for the head table. Um, if you haven't noticed already, there are cameras that have been laid out on everyone's table. And if you could all um, take pictures throughout the night, just of anything, and uh, you don't censor these things, the dirtier the better. Uh, make sure to use your flashes though. They, uh, they may not come out if you don't use the flash. I'd now like to I'd now like to call upon my wife Tara to say a brace. Yeah. 
But with Kelly, he soon became quite beguiled. Daddy Lau said, has decreed, if a new boat you need, you'd better produce a grandchild. Tiffany is actually a guest sitting down there in the corner. Yay, yay, yay. Along with 
with Kirby uh, down there and Jamie with uh, Terry Zuckerberg who formed the, uh, the bulk of our senior management. And this year, if you, any of you were here last year, we have totally replaced our food and beverage staff and a lot of them are standing behind the bar. And Trevor Marks is our new food and beverage manager and the guy is unbelievable. Thank you, Trevor. Job, and I really appreciate what you've done. Did, any, did everyone appreciate the little ones? Yeah. Yeah. Trevor and Dave and Carlos and all of the staff from the Food and Beverage Department who put on the meal that we had tonight, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I know that everyone here appreciated everything that you did, and thank you ever so much. out-of-town guests. I think about 50% of the people in this room are from out of town, so what we've done is we've lumped people together in groups. Hopefully you'll figure out which group you fit into, and you will stand up when I call you. If you don't, I'll have a general calling at the end, and uh, all of you guys that didn't pick up on it can stand up. Okay, first off, Lyle and Patty's longtime friends from Vancouver, Edmonton, Red Deer, and California. You can please stand. <laughs> Just good friends from Western, who now reign from Vancouver, Ottawa, New York, Toronto, and Dublin, Ireland. Victoria. <laughs> Jeff's longtime Windermere friends from Houston and Vancouver. <laughs> the Co Copang and Hurt family from Vancouver. Grandparents from Edmonton and Calgary. <laughs> Doug Copang's aunt and uncle and Doug's university friends from Edmonton Sherwood Park. address in Ontario. <laughs> okay, is, did I miss anybody? <laughs> oh, I got my I haven't been drinking, eh? And all of you guys have, so don't try and trick me up here. Okay, um, we have a little video that Dana's put together that we'd like to show now. So it's just going to take us a couple minutes to get it ready. And I'll ask that someone down by the washroom sign can maybe dim the lights for us when I uh, give the...